<laughs> well, this is a little, uh, little strange. It's been seven months, maybe? Eight that months? Long? I don't even know how long it's been since we've uh, <laughs> posted a video, but um, here we are. Hey. <laughs> now you might be wondering, where have we been? Well, guess what? Claire is going to tell you. I don't, you didn't prepare me for that question. We have been in space. Elon Musk flew us out. Okay, back to the video. Now, since we are terrible people and absolutely just, we suck. Plain yep. and simple, we suck. We are going to look at things that also suck. Some things might happen to people that you just say, wow, that sucks. Like for example, this person ordered, what is this thing called again? Hello Fresh. Hello okay? Fresh. And one of the ingredients said chili flakes. And this guy <laughs> got a single chili flake that freaking sucks. Well, this is one way to <laughs> ruin your daughter's or son's birthday party. Just burn the Barbie doll face right off. <laughs> now, when I see that, I see cheap plastic surgery. Just saying. What if that was like on top of your house? Wait, is there a car underneath it? I don't know, but my God, dude. That is a lot of water. That's that is a lot impressive. of water pressure. That is impressive. <laughs> I don't even, that is impressive. Now, when I see this, I don't even see a fail or that sucks, this is just an immature person. You suck. I literally don't even get how you can do that. How can you burn a pizza that bad? Stupidity, selfishness, <laughs> and being ugly. That's how. Is that his roof? Yeah. It fell off, cause you know what, Andrew? Snow is heavy. Not as heavy as me, due to all the pizzas I've been consuming lately. <laughs> to be honest, I think this person deserves this because people that drive those cars suck. Like they drive like maniacs on the highway. I'm trying not to die here. But if you drive one of these cars, I'm telling you, the average person that drives this car, rude, immature, probably the same guy that burnt the pizza. Probably. Saying, probably. Now here we have, you might think the fail here or the this sucks thing is the fact that he's rocking a very old phone because he's got a button on it. What are we in 2009? No, not anymore, buddy. His charger broke inside the phone. I've never actually seen the little charger part break inside. My guess? is what happened here is he sat on his phone because he ate too much pizza. Boom. <laughs> Happens, dude. It's Watch all, out. It's all the same person. Watch this out. is all one person. Watch out. <laughs> this is sad. This is just sad. Yeah, that poor fly drowned in the ramen. But think about a good way to go out. Dine in ramen juice? Unseasoned? No, thank you. Not the worst way to go. Not the worst way to go. <laughs> Not the best. Could be, though. See, like, if this is a hotel room, it's like, okay, cool. You got screwed on the TV. But what is that game down below? Oh, wait, you guys can't see. Hang on. Boom. You see that down there? What is that? Is that a game or what is that? This is, I feel like now this is a lie. This would never be in it. Look, what is that? That's like rocks in a hotel room. I believe rocks are actually a very fun thing to play with. And apparently you were raised wrong as a child. Maybe I was. <laughs> what What am I looking at? What is that? It's a hot supposed pocket? to be a full... Blue blueberry, blueberry and cream cheese Danish, but instead it's just like a little hollow. Hollow? Can I speak today? I don't think so. It's a hollow Danish. There's not much in there. Just a little bit of blueberry. That looks like a hot pocket. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like a ham and cheese. Honestly, hot it does. Actually, now that I'm looking at it like that, it does. That's a hot pocket. That's a freaking hot pocket. I can't think of something worse to clean up than spill all no, of no, oil. No, 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 no. But do you know what really sucks about this? It's in that crack in between the, the stove and the countertop. It's in, see, it's. Oh, yeah. it's wedged mm -hmm. between That's the a freaking oven and the countertop. That is brutal. That's but it looks like he's got his skillet. Nice and oiled up for a steak <laughs> that he's gonna make Gordon Ramsay style potentially. I don't know. Some of these are so weird. Like, how does that even happen? I my question is, why are you ordering that much peanut butter? Three tubs? That's like a small order at Costco. That looks like a large tub. That's eleven. Can I can't see how much that is in that, but that doesn't look like a normal tub. It's two kilograms, I think. Well. What is that? Two thousand pounds. America. <laughs> Wait. We don't know what we're talking about, people. We have no idea. Two kilograms. I'm kidding. It's not 2,000 pounds. It's like a pound and a half or something. That's a lot of peanut butter. Oh, no. All the glass. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, what what were you expecting to happen right there? I'll tell you, I'm pretty professional when it comes to glass. That is a lot of money in glass. How's that freaking tea? Yummy. I don't get a tea. I won't lie. 
I was slightly terrified when I saw this. I said, what is going on here? <laughs> it's chocolate, people. A chocolate container, which I want to know, what is a container of chocolate? What are they doing? You know? It Have you never had Nutella? You know what this reminds me of? The Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the boy in the river. This would be his dream. You know, he like goes in the river and he like eats the chocolate in the river and falls oh, in the river. Oh, yeah, and he gets sucked up in yeah, the tube. Yeah, this would be his dream. This is his street dream. To be honest, I feel like that was a pretty traumatic experience for that guy, but I could be wrong. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe he enjoyed it, but I believe getting sucked into a chocolate tube would actually suck. I think it would. I think it would. Oh, my mom <laughs> would kill me so fast. Oh, my gosh. How does that... How does that happen? Imagine you're just oh. driving down the road, right? <laughs> With this tub of paint. And you hear... <laughs> something like that. Is that what, what, what yes. we do again? Half of that was the guy. One more time? Went, <laughs> something like that. And then you go to the back of the car and there's just paint everywhere. That's terrible. That is hard to clean up. No, you can't clean that up. That's not, that's not being cleaned up. It's possible. No. It's possible by burning the car and getting a new one. Too bad the chocolate <laughs> didn't fall into the car. That could be worse because then no. you could get ants. No, you let the chocolate chocolate the harden. The chocolate harden. This is uh, definitely your worst nightmare. Oh, God. Fun story about me. All right, people, this, let me tell you a little something about daddy right here. I, I will not tow anything. I will not drive with anything sticking out of the window. I will not drive with the trunk not all the way shut. Absolutely not. My biggest fear for whatever reason is driving down the highway and something falling out of my car, causing an accident or something. I don't know why. It's my biggest fear. Ask Claire. It really is. This is so bad. Have, I don't know if you've experienced ever having to clean up laundry I've, detergent. I've never cleaned anything up. Like, la like laundry soap? Like no. if you spill it on the washer or something? It's terrible. It's like the hardest thing to clean up. I don't know why it's soap. It should be easy to clean. What's better? The soap, the chocolate, the paint, or the olive oil? The soap. Because it's clean at least, right? Yeah. So you better watch out before you start saying how terrible this is. I know. Imagine that poor guy in his know, Honda Civic cleaning out the This is, the best, the, of, this is the best of all the worlds. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm scared already. This is going to be good. Oh, no. Please break don't fall. Break the TV. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please break that TV. I would much rather have her break the TV, but I feel like she's going to fall because she's, she's not wearing shoes. She's, wearing, she's not wearing shoes. Oh, this is the... She's wearing socks. God awful She's form. wearing socks. <gasps> yes! Honestly, like, I'm not going to lie here. Do you know how hard it probably is to throw that bowling ball? Now, based upon how far she actually threw it, I'm assuming she's using, like, one of the yeah. six and a half pound balls. I was going to say, I don't think it's that hard. If you use too small of the finger holes and it's light of a ball, I mean, it's not that hard. This is going to be bad. Suddenly. Oh, no. Boom! Where did that tire come from? The the truck? That big I don't truck? Know. I'm assuming it came from the truck. I mean, if it didn't come from the truck, did it come from what? The sky. It's raining freaking tires out here, mate. As someone that drinks 13 monsters a day, if I got one of this, this thing is getting thrown at a very high speed directly at the guy that sold it to me. I just wonder if that's the only one or if there was like a ton that were made that way. Monster Energy, if you're watching this and you send me one of these. I'm sending it back twice as hard. That's what she said. Okay, now you people need to let us know. Do we suck as bad as these things that suck? Highly doubt it because we have been gone for years, but we're gonna try to get more videos out. We've been busy, okay? We don't even really have a good setup over here, so it's a pain in the freaking butt to set all this stuff up. So don't yell at us for not posting in so long. We will try to be better, right, babe? Yes. So smash that like button. Are you not gonna tell people are you not going to give people like a two second update on our lives? We haven't been on here in like seven months. We did at the beginning. We said we went to no, space. No, we didn't. Yeah. We said Elon sent us to space. Oh, that's all? That's all? <laughs> they know what happened. How do they know? Because they're following me on social freaking media. Andrew proposed. We're getting married, and I ran a marathon. Yeah, she did. We will talk about all that in a podcast or something coming up soon, but we're out of here. Smell you later. Peace.